Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So let me just sum it up for you real quick. I am so energetic. I put way too much makeup on, and this is going to be a great video. I'm going to be talking about my top five titles coming in 2016. As you guys know, there's already been some great releases, like Overwatch, you guys know from my second to last video. I am so excited about that game. Obviously, I'm broke because, you know, Wither's got problems. And chances are I probably won't be getting this game until, you know, that broke problem gets fixed. But I'm excited about it nonetheless. Hopefully all you guys out there playing it are thinking about me. Play it enough for the both of us. Thank you. So, exclaimer, exclaimer, I'm probably not going to go into all the details of every game. There might be details that I go into about a game that excites me, but chances are I'm not going to explain the game fully, so if there's a game that you want to know more about, I suggest you go and look it up on the internet, and we are gonna just roll with it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and yes, I will talk to y'all in a bit. Coming in at number five, we are gonna talk about Mass Effect. Sorry about that awkward nose itch that just uh, happened right there. But we are gonna talk about the next Mass Effect. In fact, I'm just gonna throw this out there right now. I don't know anything about this game. They haven't really released much of anything, and you guys probably know I live underneath a rock and I don't hear very much. But this game is going on my list just because I know for a fact I'm going to play it. Playing the first three Mass Effect games was like, like, the Mass Effect games when they came out were like the best games ever. And I played them multiple times. I enjoyed them all. I probably will be doing a Let's Play of them soon, so check out my Twitch streams if you want to see. They definitely, the first three games, didn't lack in the story department whatsoever, so I have really high expectations, and that, that's really the only reason why I put this game on the list was just because my high expectations. I know with the extra moons and, like, exploration that you could do was really cheesy, like, all the moons and the planets that you could go to, it was just flat land, there really wasn't anything to explore, but apparently it's going to be four times the size, it's going to be all about exploration, and there's going to be, you know, you're going to be able to do whatever the hell you want to. It's, you do what you want. It's open world. That's just what I've heard about it. And so I have high expectations that they will fix that from the last game. They will give you more to do and more to find and all the different planets that you can go and explore. So I just have high expectations and that's really the only reason why the game is on this list is because the first three were good. Respect. And honestly, I don't even think this game is coming out in 2016, so, uh, early 17, I don't know. Number four, No Man's Sky. So this one's actually coming out very soon. I think it's coming out in June, and a lot of people are really, really excited about this game, and it's my number four just because... I don't quite know if I'm going to be getting this game just because I want to see other people play it first. But it's going on the list because I think that the idea of it is awesome. I think that's a, that this game is going to be so cool if it turns out the way that I expect it to. It's pretty much a big open world. It's like a planet simulation. That's how it's been described. And you can you just spawn on a planet and you can you know, search the planet, you can learn all about the planet and all the different artifacts and uh, relics, I think they're called. There's like a whole bunch of relics and things you can find and learn about the world and it's pretty much just a big exploration game. You can also, you know, craft and salvage for materials, which comes along with crafting. You can kill different fiends or monsters or whatever you want to call them. I think I'm pretty sure you can even learn new languages because there's different aliens and stuff that you can actually trade with. So, yeah, that's really cool. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different materials. There's a whole bunch of different creatures and stuff like that. It's just a big world and you like I said before you spawn on a planet you can get on a ship and go to another planet if that's what you want to do it's just a huge huge simulation where you can just do whatever you want um, one of the producers actually said that 99.9% .9 of the planets probably won't even be um, discovered is what he said just because even if 
someone were to go to multiple planets, there's so many planets, and this, this world is so large that there's no way that any player will see every planet. It's apparently just supposed to be huge. If you really want me to sum up this game in six words, do whatever the fuck you want. Yes, it was definitely necessary that fuck was in that sentence. Like, if you spawn on a planet and you don't like it, leave. There's actually, in some gameplay that they released, there's actually a snowy region. Or well, not a region, a planet. And if you're in the snow for too long, you get cold and it starts to affect your health. So you have to, like, find cover to warm up. Which I was like, like, weather affects you. How cool is that? I get excited about really silly stuff. All right, here. I am about to dig my way into your heart real quick. Get ready for this piece of vital information. Are you ready? Have you prepared your bottle? There's no loading screens. What did you say? No loading screens? Here's $60 in my firstborn. I'll take the game. Yeah, that's enough said about that one. Number three. Outlast 2. Now, I know what y'all are thinking, okay? Girl, you shut your mouth. You can't even finish the first one. Trust me, boo-boo. I got this under control. I will be finishing that game in a stream. You guys, just give, just be patient with me. I will finish it. I am determined. We can do this, me and you. Let's go. So pretty much what I've seen of this game, it's identical to the first one, except for... I don't really know how to word it, but like a more creative and better graphics, more colorful, uh, better creative setting, like a better map that you explore. Um, with Outlast 1, it was like the same place that you were in, the same everything. There really wasn't very much difference. You were in a, an asylum and it was just one big asylum like there's nothing really interesting in an asylum but I noticed with this like the gameplay you see in the beginning it's like cornfields and a school question mark um I, I thought that was really cool and there was like a lot of details and they they paid attention more to the setting which I really appreciate about that and the character has a voice now so I guess I won't be the only one screaming I will probably put some gameplay somewhere in a link somewhere to um, Nukem, Dukem, the uh, gameplay he did on it. He actually did quite a lot of gameplay on it. He uh, was able to play it, and he posted a Let's Play. So it's hilarious, and I definitely jumped a few times. I think you guys should go watch it. I am definitely ready for this game. I have prepared myself. I think I can do it. We just have to beat the first one. Everyone pray for Wither. Hashtag it. Hashtag pray for Wither. Number two, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Now, I don't know if I've ever told you all this before, but Deus Ex Human Revolution, I think is what it is, is like my favorite game ever. I love that game. I played the first one, and let me just tell you, Adam Jensen has been my Man Candy Monday every Monday. I honestly don't talk about that game as much as I used to. I, don't, I played it so long ago, but I loved it so much, and I don't know what it is about the game that I just adored. I know that there was, like, a pretty good storyline. Like, it wasn't Mass Effect level, but it was a pretty good storyline, and I really liked the mechanics to it. I liked how there was, like, different things you could do, and, like, different side quests and stuff, and extra stuff, and choices. I don't know what it was about that game that I adored so much, but I adored it, so yes, I am so excited for this game. And unlike Mass Effect, this game I've actually seen a lot of gameplay on. It's, I don't know when it's coming out. I'm pretty sure it's, it's soon. I'm like August, maybe. I don't know any of the dates, guys. Like I said, I live underneath a rock. I just, uh, um, I need a good word to describe how much I enjoyed that game. I immensely enjoyed Human Revolution. I watched the Mankind Divided trailer and I was just like, this is gonna be awesome. And the first thing I want to point out about Mankind Divided is Jensen is literally fighting the Illuminati. How badass is that? Who doesn't want to fight the Illuminati? I'm excited to play it. The graphics are a step up. I'm definitely excited to see it with my own eyes. I've seen it in different YouTube videos, but I have definitely gotten a good grasp of how well 
the graphics are going to look on my beauty of a PC. I watched a 30 minute gameplay. I get the impression that the character that you play as, which is Adam Jensen, MCM, every Monday, I get the impression that he's really overpowered, which is boss, because I don't know how you guys like to play your games, but for example, when I played Skyrim, I like to have the beefiest character ever. And beefy didn't mean like the strongest character, it meant like I like to take whatever play style I was going with and just beef it up so much so that whatever I was playing as, I was the best. I was like, my character was so overpowered. You know what I mean? Like, I just like to make, take my character and just make him amazing because I like to have that satisfaction of looking back and be like, my character is really, really high level and I could probably be your character. Anyone else ever feel like that? Probably not. Probably just a me thing. A lot of things I do are just a me thing. But it looks like a great game. There's like lots of different abilities and like things to do. I noticed is something they pointed out in a, in a gameplay video is that there's more than one way to play each level. Like, it's not just stealthy or combat. You can play it stealthy or combat, but you can do it, you know, I'm going to go this direction instead of going that direction. I'm going to go this direction and then come back into this direction and do that and do this and do whatever I want because there's no linear way you have to do it. It isn't set up. Like, you have to play it this way. You have to start here. If you want to play stealthy, you have to do it here. You have to do this. It isn't like that. If you want to play it stealthy, play it stealth stealthy however you want to play it stealthy. Like, it's not, it's not linear. It's not... You know what I mean? You just have, you don't have restrictions. I'm excited. Your girl is excited. Number one, Horizon Zero Dawn. I am so sorry to all the poor Xbox fanboys out there. It's a PS4 exclusive. I swear I did make this as number one just to say that. This game looks so good, you guys. There's a badass female protagonist, you guys. So excited about that. Number one. Number two. Holy graphics. Holy story. Um, if you guys actually watch the trailer, there is a big backstory to the machines and the, uh, like, they're, they're like dinosaurs. They're like mech dinosaurs, which is really cool. But they apparently is like, it, nature took over our world as we know it today. And all of us disappeared. We're the old ones. Um, I'm not explaining it very well. But if you guys have watched this trailer... You know why I'm excited. You can tell by watching the trailer how good the story is going to be. I knew by watching the trailer to Destiny that the story wasn't going to be what I had hoped. And I knew watching the trailer to... I can't think of any good games right now. But you just know by watching a trailer. And sometimes you're wrong. Can't judge a book by its cover. But with this trailer, I have such a good feeling that the story is going to be like... Mm, that it's just... I'm just excited. Like, the whole setting and what they make it out to be, it's like the nature took over our world and that's the world she lives in. There's, like, mech dinosaurs, like I mentioned. It's probably going to be more on point than Beyonce on the cover of Vogue, you guys. This is, like, mind-blowingly good. I am so excited to just get my hands on this game and play it and learn more about this world and learn more about this you know, female protagonist, like, just watching the trailer made me feel like I needed to do that. The trailer did things to me, you guys. Some, like, gameplay you watch, she's fighting a big dinosaur, and she actually is, like, using all these different types of arrows. There's, like, explosive arrows and rope arrows and regular arrows and high I'm a badass arrows, and you guys get the picture. And you can slow down time, and you can do this and do that. There's cool moves and different things you can do. And there's materials that you can pick up, which means there's crafting, which means there's upgrades that you can make. It reminds me of, I don't know how y'all are going to feel about this, but it, I feel like they took Far Cry, and they just threw Tomb Raider in there, 
And then they just took a good story and slapped it on there and called it Horizon Zero Dawn. I feel like that's what this game is. I don't know why I get that impression, but I really do. I feel like the main character and the way the mechanics are is kind of like Tomb Raider. And then Far Cry is just like the setting without the mech dinosaurs. And then there's like the backstory that they threw in there and just topped it off. Cherry on top. And something I noticed about the gameplay is when you hit the dinosaur in the right place, she goes, got it. And then when you kill a little dinosaur, she goes, I'm sorry, little guy. And it isn't a cutscene. She's just reacting to what you as the player is doing, which I immediately noted because I know that there's going to be like a relationship between me as the player and her as the character in the game, which is like odd to describe it like that but you guys know what I mean so like when I do something in the game she's gonna react to whatever I'm doing and you know show emotions to that which is something that I found incredibly interesting just because I like that I like to feel like me and the main character are like working together and I don't I don't know I just I like that I appreciate that they put that in there I feel like that is gonna it makes me feel like they spent more time working with the character and making her into something you can always hear her comments and what she thinks is going on um that's just the impression i get it watching the gameplay there's a lot of things you can learn about the gameplay and the game just from watching the gameplay so if you guys are interested definitely check out some of the videos i'm going to put in the description of this video i'm going to put a bunch of uh links in there so, yes, you guys can watch the same videos I watched, and, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I have been fangirling for so long. I just needed to get some of my excitement out. But like I said before in the beginning of the video, your girl is broke, and that's a problem that's not going to be fixed anytime soon. So, uh, probably won't be getting any of these games. I'm really sad about it, but we can all cry together. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, 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 comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Ciao.